What's up guys, Joy here. Today we will see a very interesting issue and also very common. This is called drop down text in same align. So let's see our requirement. What our teacher said, my teacher said that put drop down, okay, a drop down and the value will be that and a hyphen and allow only three digit code, okay. So there's, this is a drop down and a hyphen and a three digit code input text. So how can I arrange everything? Now it's really common in Bootstrap to use uh, drop down and hyphen and input type text. But there have an issue in Laravel because there need to be a store in database also. So let's get it. First you can see this is our main project. and we need to change this one course code and as our requirement so let's design it where is the course code uh, course type course name here is the course code so there is now a input type let's remove it because we don't need it we need select an option okay let's have a select select uh, name is let's suppose course uh, drop down drop down okay and close it and select option option is given option select okay in option we need value right value is csc cs another option will be uh, tripoli tripoli another is uh, ss SSS last one maybe English ENG ENG okay, let's check yes English okay now let's check how is working here there is a little drop down no style nothing more then we need a dash right so let's give a dash here okay and give input field input type text okay input type text and select a name is the course text text okay and i think it's okay now let's see how it's working ah it's below we need in same align right so for this we need um, How can we do that? We need a keep some styling with this way. Let's suppose with uh, 8k pixel. Now, is this in same align? Uh, yes, this is same align, but we need some more styling. This is not looking good. But one thing that we can't use here from controller because from controller will get the full width. Let's see if we try to use from controller plus form control and now see see it's take full width so I don't want to anything do with form control so I'm going for inline CSS with the suppose 8 pixel padding will be 10 pixel and I think that's okay check it again Oh, it's too big. Not 10 pixel, actually 5 pixel. And give some border, border, 1 pixel, solid, silver, border radius. Uh, let's suppose 3 pixel. And now I think the style is okay. Uh, seems similar. Yes, yes, it's similar. And it will be with the suppose 90 pixel or 900, and also give some style with the drop down here. And in drop down, give the same style with the 7 pixel and rest all same. Let's check it now. Uh, it's okay, but I think not matching with left and right side. Maybe padding 3 pixel. 
bottom let's give some padding to himself uh, padding bottom 3 pixel let's check now padding bottom 3 pixel will be ok ah uh, no no let's give some more padding 5 pixel or 7 pixel 5 pixel not enough 7 pixel Let's see, 8 pixel will be great. 8 pixel, okay. That's nice. And, okay. Now it's like similar to rest. Here is a hyphen, here is a text field, here is a hyphen. Okay. And now, we need to give some limitation like there is I can type any letter or any length but in our requirement it's clearly mentioned that only allow three digit code so we can handle it from back end but I think in we have a powerful JavaScript on key function so let's use it here is our on key on key pass I think it will work suppose I am not too expert in JavaScript but however let's see if I can do or not. Uh, we are working in this field, so this I can select do this value obviously and length. So, uh, I hope it will work, but I am not sure. Three. Okay, and if this value is not three, then return false. Oops. Will it work? Okay, let's suppose 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, it's working. I can't type more than that. Okay, our front end is ready as our requirement. But what about the back end? Because we have now two name field. One is post drop down, another is post text. So we need to concate both. Let's go to the, our controller. Here is our controller, and here is our data setting here. What is the error? is our previous one let's comment it out now we need to concatenate both <laughs> let's see how we can do this ports underscore port and we need to concat dollar request as our this is our request so request and select with error function what is the name is I am forgetting too early it's not good close drop let's copy it don't want to take any risks. Then, actually, it's good with fast bracket. Now, and how to do concatenate? Okay, just a dot and a space and a dot. And again, request a request. What is the name? Copy that one. Post text. But in database, we don't need this hyphen. We just need a space in database. So I think it's working no error. Okay, let's DD it. DD here course code. Will it work? I don't know. Let's check it out. Refresh this page and select some. Okay, it's okay. Uh, let's see, one, two, three. And the code should pick it. Let's see, let's see. One, two, three, four. No, it's not working. Why it's not working? Uh, actually, yeah, I have some validations. Let's remove that and also is everything fresh? I think yes, it's fresh now. All this fresh, okay. Now I think it will work. Let's see. Yes, yes, we get the code, course name. And a dash and one to three. Yes, that's great. Now import insert it into our database. How to insert it? Just comment it and comment out this code. Is it okay? Courses, course code, the uh, table name and course code here. Okay, I think it's all okay. Now refresh it again. Yes, course created successfully. 
So check in the our database in localhost. So a reclaim my admin. Okay, it will load a bit. And here you can find the UMS. And here we have what's the name of these courses. And you can see that this is added successfully. You can see this one, two, three, added successfully. But we need have need to give some validations, obviously. So we don't have any validations. Let's give some validations. One, what is the name? Course drop down. This must be required. Uh, course drop down. Required. Nothing more now. Just required because we validate in front end, and also we have this JavaScript and three digits code. So user can't take more than three digits. So we don't need to think about that. We just go with that. On post text required. But and let's give also three digits. Let's suppose uh, max three and also min also be three. So don't need to give min. Uh, let's <laughs> give min. I don't want to confuse it. Min three and max be three. Okay. Length is three. Max length and min length also three required. Drop down is required. No validation is need here and uh, show the validation error. Like just copy it and I want to show it here because in the same line so paste it here the name is post drop down error name post drop down another one is copy, uh, sorry, copy and paste this name is post text post text okay that's it so our work is done as requirement this was a bit tricky in this section so you need to concatenate whatever you are using PHP or Laravel or any framework just need to remember this piece of code that's it for now we will meet another tricky so hope well see you later stay safe bye